I'm proud as Whitman Bettenfeld to be a privately held company, a half billion dollars in sales, located in 52 countries to support the plastics industry. We're industry known as a one-stop shopping supplier because we do supply Whitman Benfeld injection molding machines. We're an industry leader in robots and automation. We supply central material handling systems and we supply a complete lineup of auxiliary products such as granulators, temperature controllers, dryers, blenders, color feeders, and vacuum loaders. One of the new developments happening in manufacturing today is a concept called Industry 4.0. What it relates to is smart factories of the future. One of the things that we were able to accomplish to make this a unique development was we patented a router to put into our work cell, the molding work cell, that would allow plug and produce of auxiliary equipment. We're really fascinated how this is going to work for molders to make for much more efficient mold changeovers, color changes in a short amount of time. This is a mold setup change without using Whitman 4.0. By not having Whitman 4.0, there's no communication between the molding machine and the peripheral devices and auxiliaries. Because there's no communication, there's no set point data transfer between the molding machine and the peripheral devices, as well as no tolerance limits between the peripheral devices and the molding machine. Therefore, the operator must manually go to each individual device and set the set point on the device itself. The operator is now logged into the machine, stopped the machine, and now goes over to the temperature control units where he first sets the set point from 245 and 275 to 190 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. On the next temperature control unit, he changes the temperature from 225 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can imagine, this gives the opportunity for a mistake to happen where the operator incorrectly enters the set point from his process setup sheet, or worse yet, forgets to change the set point on a peripheral device. The operator is now at the dryer where he changes the temperature from one temperature to another. He now walks over to the blender and changes the blender recipe from a blue part to a red part. This is yet again another area where a mistake could be made as the operator could incorrectly select the wrong blender recipe or incorrectly enter the wrong set points on the percentages for the blender recipe. This could cost the company money as a mistake like this could go unnoticed for some time and produce countless parts where the wrong percentage was used for the material or additive. The operator now goes to the back of the machine where he has to load the robot program. Here he's changing the program from a blue part to a red part program. On the robot pendant behind the machine, he selects the red part, loads this program, and now has to walk over to the molding machine where he selects the molding machine data record for the red part. This loads the mold recipe for the molding machine. As you've just seen, the operator has had to run back and forth between numerous places to enter the individual set points on each peripheral device. As you can imagine, if the TCU and the blender were up on a mezzanine, maybe the dryers and a central material handling room, the operator would have to go back and forth between these places to enter the set points. This not only is time consuming, but gives the opportunity for a mistake to happen, maybe the incorrect set point is entered. The operator has now started the machine in automatic mode. He now goes to the back of the machine where he homes the robot from the robot pendant and then he starts the robot in automatic with the machine. We're now producing red parts. This is a Whitman 4.0 mold setup change. By using Whitman 4.0, the molding machine is able to communicate with each of the individual peripheral devices. This is done via an ethernet cable. The green cables you see connected to each of the peripheral devices. The operator now logs in with an RFID login chip. He then goes to the data record page where he's going to load the red part recipe. First he selects the red part recipe and then goes to the mold card page. This page tells the operator what device needs to be connected to the machine. He sees that there is an extra TCU connected. He unplugs the Whitman 4.0 green cable. The operator now waits a few seconds for the molding machine to recognize that the device has been disconnected. With Whitman 4.0, 
Connecting a device is truly as simple as plugging in the green cable, waiting a few seconds, and whammo, the device is connected to the molding machine. It really is that easy. The operator now goes back to the data record page where he selects the data record that is to be used for the product to be run, in this case the red part. The operator now selects the red part mold recipe and loads this data record. This not only loads the machine process settings to the machine, but also loads the temperature control unit set points, the dryer temperature set point, the blender recipe, as well as the robot program to the robot. The operator now puts the molding machine in automatic and starts the injection molding cycle. The clamp closes, but the machine does not inject any material. This is because, as you can see in the top left, the TCU is out of tolerance on zone 2. It's about 220 degrees when it's supposed to be 180 degrees Fahrenheit. With Whitman 4.0, the molding machine knows the current state of each of the peripheral devices. If one of the devices is out of tolerance or in the correct operating mode, the molding machine knows not to produce any parts, as any parts produced with an out of tolerance peripheral device would produce bad parts that are out of spec. Here the operator controls the robot from the molding machine. He first homes the robot and then starts the robot in automatic with the molding machine. We are now producing red parts. The operator now adjusts the speed of the robot through the molding machine. He then shows off a really nice feature of our B8 control, the split screen function. Here he shows the TCU and puts that down to the bottom of the screen. He now shows the dryer at the top and puts that down to the bottom of the screen. And now you can see the blender at the top. The blender is now down on the bottom. He now cycles through the pages. This is the Whitman 4.0 router. This is what authenticates the devices when you plug them in with the green 4.0 cable. The router also handles the communication between all of the devices and the molding machine. It also provides the secure network between the outside network and the work cell network. This is the industrial ethernet connection hub. This is where all of the green 4.0 cables connect to the molding machine. The other end of these cables connect to the individual peripheral devices to allow the communication to the 4.0 router.